Dulce de leche, Spanish, dulce de e e let, Portuguese, doce de leite ipa, doce de leite, is a confection prepared by slowly heating sweetened milk to create a substance that derives its flavor from the Maillard reaction, also changing color, with an appearance and flavor similar to caramel. Dulce de leche is Spanish for candy, made, of milk, or caramel. It is very popular in many South American countries. Regional variants It is said that what is known today internationally as dulce de leche is the form that took place in Argentina as referenced in the article below from Clarin News in the early 1800s. The Argentine culture is one where dulce de leche is the main ingredient in almost every confection found in all bakeries, commercial and homemade. It is made of cow's milk, unlike other Latin American countries and is called Dulce de leche, not by any other name, and known internationally as that name given by the Argentines. The dulce de leche of El Salvador has a soft, crumbly texture, with an almost crystallized form. Central Mexico had versions as monar, vanilla-flavored, or cajeta, which is made from goat's milk, while in the north of the country the dulce de leche, from cow's milk is more common. In Cuba, dulce de leche is made from soured milk that's curdled and then sweetened, called cortada. In the Dominican Republic, it is made with equal parts milk and sugar cooked over an open flame and stirred continuously for many hours. The texture of the end product is similar to that of fudge. The Dominican dulce de leche is considered milk fudge that is ivory white in color and is consumed in small bite sized squares. One popular variation of this irresistible treat is dulce de leche con guayaba, guava preserve. In Puerto Rico, dulce de leche is sometimes made with unsweetened coconut milk. In Colombia and Venezuela, it is called arequipe, along with some regional variants, such as monar blanco, which has higher content of milk. In Chile, it is called monar. In Panama, the top is crystallized. A French version, known as confiture de lait, literally, confection of milk, is very similar to the spreadable forms of dulce de leche. In Haiti, it is known as douce lait. The Norwegian hoppa spread is a commercial variant that is thicker and less sweet. The name is an abbreviation of hamar, where it originally was made in peleg, spread. Ha pa, literally means put on, as a reference to putting it on a slice of bread. Hapa originated during the Second World War when, due to the scarcity of supplies, housewives would boil Viking milk, a type of condensed milk, to a very similar type of spread. After the war the production was commercialized and continues to this day. In Russia and Ukraine, the same preparation, traditionally made by boiling cans of condensed milk in water bath for several hours is known as Boiled condensed milk. Varina gusenka. In Russian. Varin zagasin maloko. Iriska. In Ukrainian, as long as condensed milk is known there, and was, and still is, a mainstay of home confectioners and sweet fillings. In Soviet times there was some commercial production, but at a scale insufficient to meet a demand, so most households returned to traditional at-home preparation. Since the fall of the USSR the spread, though often imitated by various starch-based concoctions, exploded in popularity and is widely commercially produced both in conform and as an ingredient and default filling in various sweets. A Polish version, called kazmak, is known from the 18th century, it was inspired by kaimak, and it is used to cover some cakes, like mazurik or wafer. South Africans call it caramel treat. In South Africa, it is served as fudge, or used as an ingredient in baked confectionaries, cakes and tarts. Preparation and uses The most basic recipe calls for slowly simmering milk and sugar, stirring almost constantly, although other ingredients such as vanilla may be added for flavor. Much of the water in the milk evaporates and the mix thickens, the resulting dulce de leche is usually about a sixth of the volume of the milk used. The transformation that occurs in preparation is caused by a combination of two common browning reactions called caramelization and the Maillard reaction. 
A homemade form of dulce de leche is sometimes made by boiling an unopened can of sweetened condensed milk for 2 to 3 hours or 30 to 45 minutes in a pressure cooker, particularly by those living in countries where it cannot be bought ready-made. This results in a product that is much sweeter than the slow-boiled kind. It is dangerous to do this on a stove, if the pot is allowed to boil dry, the can will overheat and explode. Dulce de leche is used to flavor candies or other sweet foods, such as cakes, churros, cookies, see alfajor, waffles, creme caramel, known as flan in Spanish and Portuguese-speaking regions, and ice creams. It provides the toffee, part of English banoffee pie and is also a popular spread on pancakes and toast, while the French confiture de lait is commonly served with fromage blanc. A solid candy made from dulce de leche, similar to the Polish krauka and named Vaquita. Little cow was manufactured by the Mew Mew factory in Argentina until the company went out of business in 1984. Subsequently, other brands began to manufacture similar candies, giving them names such as Bakita and Bakarita in an effort to link their products to the original. In the Midwestern United States in the 1950s a version of dulce de leche called sticky dessert used carnation sweetened condensed milk. See also References External links Homemade dulce de leche recipe Todo dulce de leche, in Spanish.